Afternoon everybody, Rich LaRousse here, back for part 2 of my large cruise ship tutorial literally based on the Queen Victoria um, Yeah, and then for part 2 I shall be focusing on the main hull of the ship which of course is the black section of the ship as you can see in front of you, this big black wall all the way around the ship uh, so yeah, that's uh, what we'll be on today um, basically you've got the pointed end and at the back you've got the stubby end like that basically, you can see what I mean, it folds in at the back Slightly different to all my other ships, but not a huge difference, it just goes the other way. Um, and also, I have got windows on the superstructure, oh, not the superstructure, but on the hull, which are um, cut into the hull. I won't be putting them in uh, in this part of the video, I may not put them in at all, but they won't be put in uh, in part two anyway. I may, if I do do them, it'll be later on, probably near, near the near completion of the ship. Uh, I just want to get the basics of the hull and everything out of the way first. So the windows will be left out for the moment, we'll just focus on the main hull. So uh, to give you an idea of how tall the ship is, well the hull, anyway, the black section of the hull is 17 blocks high, that's 1 7 blocks high. So that gives you an idea of that section. So the, the, the red section is 9 high, and then with the white line is 1, and then you got 17 with the uh, black section, so that's uh, 27 in height already. So that would be that so now I should go to the build zone, and then we should focus, and then we should uh, get started on building. So uh, back in a moment. Okay, here we are, and a number of minutes has passed since the uh, I just left you a minute ago. I couldn't remember what map this was on, so uh, there we go. I just waited about a quarter of an hour trying to find the bloody thing. Uh, never mind. Right. Well, anyway, we're here now, and we shall go to the tip of the bow, which of course is the pointed end. And we're going to want to build the same basic design I use for all my cruise ships, basically a triangle shaped bow using rows of two um, up. So we go, it's 17 rows of two in the black. So we go to the tip of the bow, which is here. And on the first block, we put a row of two. And then you want to repeat that another 16 times. So it's 17 rows of these black twos. So it's the first one there, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then we get 17 high, like so I just count that, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, yep, 17 high, and then like before, with all my other ships, you just want to copy the same thing, onto the front block of each of the white line on the bow, so basically copy it from there, 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 hang on, there, 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 and there. Basically build the same thing on all of those black blocks up to the outer edge of the ship or the outer edge of the uh, the draft. Now a lot of you will probably complain, or at least the, the ship builders of the community will complain that this isn't how you build a bow, but you know, go stuff yourself. This is how I build my ships, if you don't like it then lump it. Um, if you want to re redesign the bow a little bit, you can, you know, just add a bit more sculpting. You know, I'm just a basic designer, uh, not really a designer, just sort of throw a few blocks in and see what I'll come up with. Um, anyway, if you want to redesign the bow, go ahead and do so. Um, this is just a basic tutorial. Anyway, I shall do the same. I should use the same design. I've already copied it, so I'm going to just paste it in place. So I shall paste each row of 17 rows of 2 when it works into the place of those single black blocks. This may take a few minutes because the bloody cuboid tool is knackered. And there we go, that's that in place, while well, all the 17 uh, rows of 2 up. So basically, it's, the ship's 37 wide, so it's the centre one, which I built first, and then it's 18 rows or eighteen rows of 17 high on either side of the centre. So it's 18 that side, then you want 18 this side. I've put the first side in, in place just to give you an idea what to do. 
and then once you've done that go on the inside and we just fill in the gaps I'll go from the bottom actually so just go on the inside and then fill in the gaps between each rib of the bow design this is what takes time because I always try to fast track this and always end up fucking it up but um, I've probably got more time than I have so that section I do a few more rows and then I do a, a jump cut and uh, do a jump cut and then uh, fill it all in off, off camera or off recording thing this is a boring job ok I've done a few more rows and then you get this sort of, sort of get the idea of how the bow will look just filling in all the gaps and then just carry on the same up to the uh, outer edge of the uh, Right to the yeah up to the outer edge of the bow, fill in all the gaps, and then I should now I should do a jump cut while I fill in the rest of it, and I'll I'll also uh, put in the other side as well. So I shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. Now filled in all the uh, gaps on one side, and also built the entire other side, and now it should look something like this. Once you have completed it all, <coughs> pardon me on the inside as well. Sorry about the uh, sound crackle as well. It's uh, Shitty microphone and pretty shit graphic uh, sound as well from the computer. Do apologise. <coughs> I'm also dying as well. Um, so yeah, that's that. So now we've got this uh, serrated edge on the back end of the bow. Now, what you want to do is just go to the bottom of it and build up vertically to the height, of the top of the bow, just to straighten this edge off. Makes it easy for me. Uh, you don't have to do it just yet because I'm I'm just doing it so I, I can use the quick build tool in a minute just to build up to the straight edge so I should just build fill in this gap here which I could see properly the problem with using black blocks is when the light effect of Minecraft get, uh, shines on it makes it difficult to actually see what you're doing there's no sun though in this version anyway it's just cloud and if I press this button rain as well Oh, isn't it? I'm going to stop the rain. There we go. Probably can't hear the rain falling, which is a shame. I'll just fill in this section anyway. Get on with it. And lastly this bit here, and there we go, that's that edge all straightened off and the gap inside fi filled in. I'm just going to copy and paste that because it takes bloody ages to do so. Copy from there to there and then paste it over it. And it should look something like that. Uh, at is that right? Get rid of that block. Get rid of that one. That's my fault. I apologise for that one. Um, so yeah. Now we've got the straightened edge there on the back of the bow. We can now abandon it and click the save button. There we go. Now head to the stern, the stubby end of the ship. <coughs> Excuse me, dying again. Now we'll go to the outside edge. I'm going to work our way in this time. Um, so from this corner block here, we're going to want to build the stern uh, we're going to build up two, so we go up two like that, which is not instead of building outwards in a curved shape, we're going to build, be building inwards and you'll understand what I mean, if I say me rabbiting on, you'll just see what I, I mean when I build it, so it's up two and then up three, so it's one, two, three three again, one, two, three like so, and then a row of six up, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six and then change the direction, we build three, one, two, three, like that. So you've got a sort of a, a dent, basically, sort of like it's reversed into the dock. Uh, so it's three there, and then three up again. One, two, three, and then three up again. So it's one, two, three. And to measure the height, I shall do that. So it should be 17 blocks in height. So from the top to the bottom, 
17 blocks. So that's the same height as the bow. Just making sure I'm covering myself on that one. For many rehearsals, I tend to fuck it up. So uh, anyway, that's that bit done. So now we just want to copy the same thing across the back of the stern. So basically, where I'm putting all the black blocks, all on the white blocks, bollocks. Um, that one. So basically, just copy the same thing across the whole of the stern, all the way around until you get to the other side. There. So for me, I'm just going to cheat a bit and use the copy paste again. Well, this ain't going to work very well for me because, uh, shit, I didn't think about that. Um, oh, piddly doos. Um, I know. I can use something. I can try and try and do something else. I'm just riveting my because I just realised I made a, a mistake on my part. It's not it's nothing to do with the tutorial. Just a copy pasting error. So I'm going to copy that to there and get rid of that one. And I'm going to just paste it all in place now. So there we go. Pe oh bloody hell! All right, paste it there, there. Bloody hell! There, 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 there. There and on there. So it's sort of, uh, you can't really see because it's being black, but you sort of get the idea of how it's designed. And now I can get rid of all these blocks here. These are just ones I put in so that I can copy it easily. So once I've built this anyway, I'll, put, um, I'll change it to white and sort of see what I'm on about. But I'll just carry on pasting my bits into place. Dooby 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 doo doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Very boring job, but it's easier than doing it block by block. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's a <laughs> that's a shape of the stern done. I can just delete those. In a blocks that I built for myself. Really doesn't help having all that text in the way either. Right, got rid of all of them. And you sort of, you can't really see it. What I'll do, I shall. Uh, well, first of all, before we start building anything, I'm going to straighten this edge off here and the, around the forward end of these stern sections. So just to straighten this edge off. So, like I did on the bow, just straighten the edge off. So do the same on the other side. Okay, there we go. That's both sides straightened off now. So what I should do, I should change it to white so you can sort of see what I'm talking about here. So I go R, uh, obsidian, and change it to white. And also put the forward slash in there first because I keep forgetting that one. Or was that backslash? Who cares? There, down to there. It's all changed the white. There you go. You can sort of see what it's shaped like now. So it sort of dents inwards and then back out again from the well, from both sides, sides really from the top down. It curves inwards and outwards. Should have done this with the bow really. You know, painted it white. But you, you can see how it's shaped. It's, not, it's nothing spectacular. I mean, it's, it's a basic shape how I've done it anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's how it looks. So now what I do, I just change it quickly back to obsidian. So it's uh, R white to obsidian. There. Down to there. Oh, piss, I've done it wrong again. <laughs> Right, that one. It's a bad day, isn't it? It's my birthday today as well, which doesn't help. Um, so there we go. Stern's all changed back to black. So the la last job to do is just to connect the stern to the bow. Uh, I use a quick build tool because I can. So just go from the top of the stern to the bottom of the bow. Fill in with all the black blocks. There we go. Side being built. Done. So that's the side done. 
And then we do the other side. I go from the bow to the stern this time. Top of the bow to bottom of the stern. Down to here. And there we go. So that's bow and stern and centre done. And that's the main hull done. Ship is now, well, I would say 50% done. So that's basically the uh, foundations of every cruise ship. A bow, stern and other draft. There we go. Have another fly around it. Alright, so now the next job to do for me is just to add the top deck. If I can click the save button properly. Alright, so now the next job is just to add the top deck. I should add the top deck and then once that's in place I'll show you the roughly where to put the decks below, although you can uh, do that one yourself. You know, you know, to plan your own de uh, deck design below. But we'll go for the top deck. We'll go for the top of the hull. You know, the same block, uh, or the 17th block up, so we're basically filling the top uh, you know, top of the uh, hull with wood. Although you probably want to use grey or something like that. Why, why am I using wood? Usually I don't for a modern cruise ship they didn't have wood on modern ships do they? Well I'll use wood anyway and then you, you can decide what you want to use probably use a, a grey or a white wool or something like that I just use wood for now so just fill in the hole of the bow section. There's something else I hate about about building ships in Minecraft and <laughs> I just fuck that up there and do three four Five. No, I should just have to. Uh, fuck's sake. And do twenty. No, I do. Right, like I was saying, the thing I, another thing I hate about building ships in Minecraft, the full version anyway, is building the decks. If you don't have world edit or something like that, you're gonna be here for fucking ages. And to be honest, the time wasted is not really. You can't really justify wasting time on something like this. No saying this now, if you don't have the tools, or at least a team of people helping you, then you're wasting your time. But it's personal preference. And I wouldn't do this anymore. I wouldn't, wouldn't go into a server and build a ship anymore. But there you go. Don't have the time anymore. There we go, me rabbiting one again. So that's the, that's the bow done anyway. I'll head down to the stern and fill in the wood deck there. So down to the stern, here comes all the wood. And it should bump into place there. Just fill in these last two bits here. And last bit there. So there we go. Also, if you're going to be building a ship using my design, please leave credit for me if you're making a video of it or a downloadable project using my design. Just give me a bit of credit for God's sake. Seeing people using my designs and claiming it's their own, as you know, blah 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 and all that bullshit. Just remember to leave me a bit of credit. Right. Right, well that's the uh, top deck done. Now I'll go to the inside of the ship, through the wall. Here we are on the inside. Can't see very well because I've got sun shining on the screen, which doesn't help. Um, this is a rare thing, actually. I mean, it's it's March the third, and it's winter time. Well, it's, say early spring here in the UK. It's been pissing the rain all day, and now the sun's shining. Brilliant, but it's still freezing cold. And I've got to go out there in half an hour. Right. Anyway, uh, we go to the side now. Now, normally I build decks with a three-block gap between, so three blocks below the top deck. Leave a three-block gap then put the next deck in place and then three block gap and then next deck and so on but seeing as modern cruise ships have a lot of um, shopping malls, cinema space and things like that you're going to want to readjust things like that, that's if you want to build the full interior my ship, my ship design is just focused on the exterior so the interior is sort of uh, up to you you know personal preference in this uh, sort of thing so if you want to build your full interior then I wouldn't suggest following my uh, internal deck layout, you're going to want to plan things out a bit better. Um, so maybe build the decks, the inside decks, before you start building the superstructure, which will be part three. So uh, plan ahead and then focus on what you want to do, because it's uh, there's, there's enough space in here for all you want to put in here probably. But um, 
Yeah, you're going to want to uh, plan ahead a bit. Um, but anyway, if you, if you are going to follow my design, then just you know, three block gaps, put a deck, three block gap, put a deck, and so on. Or four block gaps, up to you, how you want to do it. Um, the upper decks, with all the cabins of that, are all going to be the same, so it's three block gaps each for the uh, cabins and balconies there, so that's that. Um, anyway, that's basically that for part two. So we've got the hull done, we've got the, or the main hull, the stern, the bow, the midsection, and the, the upper deck of the hull done. So we click save again. Um, so yeah, so for part three, which I don't know will be this week or possibly early next week, I'm not sure, it depends on what time I've got. Um, will be the beginning of the superstructure, which will be the white section with all the fancy bits on. Uh, pardon me. Um, so yeah, that'll be for that part three, and it's going to be probably consist of about seven or eight parts. The uh, superstructure because it's quite complex. By the way, I designed it is anyway. But anyway, enough about all that bullshit. We shall uh, leave it at that. So this is Rich Larousse signing off, logging off, disappearing, and I shall return in part three, as of whenever that is. So uh, bye for now.